Hey guys, Philip Walter. I'm an artist here in San Diego, California, here to talk to you a little bit about the process that I like to go through as far as finding inspiration online, using that as a reference photo for illustration on my iPad using an Adobe Fresco, and then using that yet again as another reference for my actual gouache painting. So sit back, relax, get your iPad and follow along. So I recently went through a few photos from one of my in-laws recent trips to Glacier National Park and I found some cool images that she had posted on her Facebook page and one of these looked really cool to me so I figured I'd use this as some inspiration for um, one of my next paintings. Before I go into painting I like to do quick sketches and whether it's on paper or on my iPad um, right here I'm using my Adobe Fresco app on my iPad and uh, I like to outline and do a little bit of the sketch beforehand that way I know where I want to place all my elements and what colors I want to use for my painting. That way I'm not having to do too much critical thinking and I can enjoy painting later on. So now that I have my quick sketch done on my iPad, I like to uh, next go right into my painting and I'll start with making um, an outline for a 5x7 or an 8.5x11 on my paper. That way I know later on that I can transfer this into a print fairly easy. Um, so I, it was really easy going from the sketch to the, to the paper because I already knew where my lines were going to be and the sketch was really easy at, at that point. That way you're not, you're kind of limiting going back and forth on what you want to paint and you can jump right into the painting after you do some sketches. And that's what's really cool about doing the process beforehand and putting down some sketches because I have plenty of them that I can go back and look on and kind of jump right into a painting when, whenever I need to or feel like, feel like painting. I don't have to think about what am I going to paint at this moment because I've spent that time um, in my sketchbook or on my iPad and that's the best part about doing this type of process and you know I think we're we're all creatures of habits where we kind of just want to jump in do do what we want to do at the moment so if we want to paint you know we're, we're we're ready to sit down and paint but if you take this time beforehand painting and open up a sketchbook or open up your iPad and you spend that time creating these sketches, when it does come time for you to paint, you're gonna find that process a lot easier. You're gonna see something in your sketches and it will be easier for you to just jump in and paint and you're gonna enjoy painting a lot more. And I think another reason why I like to do this process is not only just for the sketch, but also for what colors you're going to lay down. You don't have to spend the time while you're painting thinking about what colors you're going to use or what colors you need to use. You've already spent that time on color theory in your sketch, perhaps, and you're ready to jump in. You know what colors you're going to use. So that's what makes the painting much more enjoyable once you do this process. I know how hard it is to just, you know, sometimes um, I just jump in, want to sketch uh, what I'm going to paint in that moment. And, you know, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, we're all creatures of habits. We're all artists. We all just want to create at the moment. So um, I understand that. But, you know, I challenge you guys to take that time, open up your sketchbook, put down some ideas, and then paint and let me know in the comments whether you found that easy later on or if that's something that you 
you like to do yourself already. So thank you for watching and following along. I hope you take this process and, you know, add it to your uh, art skills and, you know, share with me below if you, you do something like this already. And here's the colors I used for this painting if you want to follow along. It's cerulean blue, lilac, cadmium green, permanent green deep, burnt umber, ivory black, and permanent white by the Holbin Artists wash series. I painted on 140 pound hot pressed watercolor paper by Windsor & Newton and the brushes I used were Windsor & Newton Series 7. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. If you'd like, you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube or you can follow me on Instagram at Poulter Design Co. Thanks for watching.